Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk about why you will always need other people. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is because a lot of us have gone through painful relationships and it can be easy to take it the um, it take the experience out of it to trick ourselves into thinking that we will just try to love ourselves so much that we don't need other people. And there's something really dangerous that comes along with trying to tell yourself that you don't need other people and that you would rather be alone than with other people. And the danger that comes along with that is that you are in fact denying who you are as a human being. And when you look at the biology of a human being, it comes down to the fact that we are a social species, we're a group species, and trying to pretend that you are not meant to commune and live with other people is like trying to pretend that you are not actually who you are. And because it's part of our biology and who we are as a social species, if you deny that part of yourself, you're actually rejecting a part of yourself. And by rejecting that part of yourself, you're actually living an inauthentic life. And if you continue to, li to live that inauthentic life, then you are actually just punishing yourself more and teaching yourself to reject who you are as a person. And the more that you try to push other people out, the less you're willing to see yourself for who you are and let the world see you for who you are. And if you want to live the greatest life possible, full of the most love, life, and happiness, you have to be willing to expose who you are as a whole. And by exposing who you are as a whole, in turn, what you will be able to do is actually filter the people that are in your life and filter them out by getting rid of the people that do not love you for who you are and welcome the presence of people in your life that genuinely love you for who you are as a whole. So if you're watching this video, it, this video is going to be for you if you've ever felt or had the inclination to feel like you don't ever want to be reliant on other people again. Like you don't want to have other people in your life and maybe you want to step away from society and you feel like you've gone through so much pain that it's just better not to be around other people. And I guess part of this video is to let you know that not only am I here for you, but this channel is here for you and everybody that's a subscriber and is part of this community is here for you. And with that being said, let's continue and dive into the rest of the content and what this dynamic creates for you in your life. See, society always tells us about the idea of independence. Independence seems like an incredible and powerful thing, but I actually would have to disagree with the word independence because there's the, what I find off about the word independence is that it makes it seem like you must be an island unto yourself and that you cannot rely on other people and you cannot live you cannot live around other people. It's like you're a floating island in the middle of an ocean without anybody else around you. But this is just not who you are at your core. When your core, really, the way that we are meant to work as a society is an interdependent society. Not a dependent society. Not one where you're absolutely forced to need somebody else for every single thing that you do. But an interdependent society. A society where we can rely on people for certain things. And other people can rely on other people for other things. And we all work as a unit. I almost think of... Um, of ants. And, and, and you know the holes that they make into the ground. You know it's not one independent ant, you know, doing everything. And it's not a dependent ant that all relies on everybody else for everything. It's an interdependent, working, cohesive mechanism that all helps everybody out to learn and to grow and to expand so that we can all live the greatest life possible. And this idea of independence it actually causes loneliness to be present inside of yourself, inside of your soul and who you are, I guess, because 
this idea of independence means that you can you you should be able to live your life without communing and being a part of a community of people and what I like to think of more is the idea of personal autonomy, which is different. It difference, the difference between this is that it means that you're self-sufficient and capable of fully taking care of yourself and living your life and being who you are without having necessarily to depend fully on anybody else for your needs. In fact, part of the reason that we what we talk about so much on this channel has been narcissism is because at a young age people become dependent on their on their um parents for approval and society to accept you and as long as you're relying on society to accept you acceptance means safety for us as human beings as the biological creatures that we are acceptance means safety so we're taught that we should reject certain part of ourselves and only present the part of ourselves in life that seem to be the most good parts that keep us the most accepted in society and by portraying these parts of society the ones that keep us the most uh, safe and accepted we're actually not loving ourselves fully which leads us back to the same circle of feeling like we cannot uh, depend on other people or be interdependent with other people what this is all leading to is that if you've ever really felt like you need to be an island onto yourself with nobody else around you, that's just not true. The problem is that we, what we actually need to do is actually have the bravery to expose ourselves for who we fully are and learn to be authentic with ourselves and we, with other people. And as we learn to love ourselves and be authentic with ourselves and see the truth of who we are, and we do this by looking inside and seeing what incongruences there are inside of ourselves, and the, and the external world that we're experiencing, as we see the difference between these two worlds that are going on around us, then we can start to understand where we're not being fully authentic. And as we present with bravery, the authentic experience of who we fully are, in, this, in these cases, what will actually start to happen is that certain people will gravitate away from us. And the good thing about those people gravitating away from you is that the world and the universe works like a vacuum and it's going to leave an open, empty spot where you will be able to fill that hole with somebody else that loves you for who you are fully. And because you're expressing your authenticity of who you are as, as the whole self, you no longer feel like you need to be an island unto yourself because that is not part of who you are as a human being. You can actually live a happier, fuller life now expressing who you are at your core with authenticity. And now you get to be surrounded by a community of people who love you for who you are at your core. As you begin to do this, you're going to experience personal growth and, and happiness and abundance that comes with loving yourself fully. And the awesome thing about this is that we, as we love ourselves, you can't love yourself so much that you don't need other people. What's actually going on through this whole process is that you're loving yourself so much that you are capable of finding other people that can reliably love you back the same way that you love them. Because you are going to have a certain standard of love that you accept in your life at this point. Now, a lot of people say that you cannot be loved if you do not love yourself. And I actually find this, I don't agree with this because I can say that I've met people that do not love themselves and I love them. 
as a person. I think that they're incredible. What actually is happening on happening is that they are not capable of allowing themselves to receive the love that I am trying to present them with. And because they are not capable of receiving it for their own reasons and traumas and hurts that they've gone through, they might perceive the world to be unloving when that's actually not the case. And you may be in a similar spot. Or maybe you haven't been loving yourself fully and expressing your true authentic self to yourself and the outside world. And you've been having incongruences between what's going on on the inside, on the internal world and what you're experiencing on the outside. And experiencing your self-love as a whole. So as these things are different and you're teaching yourself and allowing yourself to love yourself fully you are going to also accept the love that the world is already waiting to give you. And for that reason, you don't ever need to be an island onto yourself. You will always need to be surrounded with people as part of a human. And you can be. There's no need to be independent and not need other people because that's just not possible. The truth is that we're always going to need people. And what we can do instead of fighting against this is actually use it to our advantage to live our healthiest, fullest lives possible. Because who doesn't love a great friend? Who doesn't love, you know, a great relationship with a family member, a spouse, a, a, you know, a friend, another person in your life, whoever it may be. Everybody loves a great relationship. I can't tell you a person that doesn't. So with that being said, just remember, you must allow yourself to receive the love that the world is trying to give you. Don't feel like you need to be alone in life. So that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As you know, I want to do this channel full time. So if you want to support me as a creator, please hit the link down in the description below to sign up for the Patreon. And I will also send you a free wristband for signing up and helping me do this as a creator. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one.